Is that the sound of you guys slow clapping me? All right, we are at Blackfoot Motorsports. I am gonna take out this amazing Triumph. I got Jeremy here. He's gonna run over this bike with me and uh, we're gonna take it out on a motorcycle camping trip. Woohoo! Okay, Jeremy, tell me about this bike. So this is the 2020 Triumph uh, 900 Rally Pro uh, Tiger. Um, the Tiger 900 is a brand new motor this year. Uh, it used to be an 800cc, now we're up to 888ccs. The bike comes with a full TFT display. It also has shift assist, uh, heated seats, and heated grips, as well as uh, electronic cruise control. So on the Tiger, there's six riding modes. Uh, there's road, rain, sport, off-road, off-road pro, and rider programmable modes. Ooh, so all of it is done through all your uh, switch gear on here. You can do it through your home screen or as well through your mode button. Um, everything is very well set up, so it's easily used while you're riding. Oh wow, so this is like, you would say that this is the, the adventure motorcycle. Like if you're going off-road, on-road, this is the bike you want. This is the best middleweight bike in its class for the adventure. Bike. Oh, I love that. I am so excited to take it out. This is gonna be a wicked trip. Uh, thank you so much for walking us through this bike. Now let's ride it and head out on our camping trip. I got the bike and now I'm going to head home, throw this bike in the back of the trailer and camping I'm going to go. Got my camping spot. Thanks River Lover for sponsoring my videos. Okay, 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 go, go, go. Somebody told me about this camping spot with amazing views. I didn't really believe them, but... <laughs> Holy cow, I'm so impressed. I get this for the whole weekend. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna set up my camp and maybe make something to eat. Be sure to stay tuned because I've got a few more camping hacks that I learned off of YouTube. making stuffed cannelloni, but with seashells. We got the seashells on the fire. And I'm going to prepare them, get them all stuffed. Did some of this work at home prior, but you wanna have good meal while you're camping. I'm going to start putting some of the ingredients in and get them prepped in this little container. First we'll do the ricotta. We got some garlic and onion. Tomato, some mushrooms, and spinach. More cheese. I forgot a can opener, but luckily I had this. I guess it's called a can punch. So we make do, we make do. Here's another hack. You can make a throwing star out of the can lid. What's also handy about these tomato cans is that uh, we're gonna use the tomatoes for a sauce, but we're also going to cook in them individually in the fire. It's perfect. Well, I'm just going to individually stuff these little bad boys. So we have the shells all stuffed now. And we're just gonna start layering them into the can. And I, I put some uh, tomatoes and some of the sauce in here and I'm just gonna start layering them now. Layer of tomato sauce. Here we go. 
That looks delicious. Last little bit of potato sauce on there. And now we're gonna put a little tinfoil on it, throw it in the fire. Just had an idea, um, putting this in the fire, how are you gonna grab it? So I'm gonna take this little bad boy and I'm just gonna poke a hole in each both sides. And then I actually have wire. So I'm just gonna make a handle so I can move it around in the fire. So smart. It's done. So now we're just gonna put it in the fire, um, put it on it, and then we can move it down and rotate it. Uh, we don't wanna burn it, so we're just gonna continue to move it around. But for now, it's just gonna warm up there. It's ready. You can hear it. Listen. I'm excited to see what this turns out like. I'm gonna peel this tinfoil back. Oh, it looks delicious. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a shell. That's a shell. Stiffed shell. Aww. It is delicious. Wow, best camping hack ever. Did I invent this? I think I did. Did you guys hear that? Is that the sound of you guys slow clapping me? I think so. Mm. Last video I did, I made fire with rocks and I was challenged to do it with sticks. So challenge accepted. There I go. So I got a stick here with a point, but I am gonna attempt this just with my hands. Um, I did make a little notch here with my drill. So here I go. Real hot. I did it! <laughs> now, let's transfer it over to the fire pit. We're on a hunt for an amazing waterfall. We're going to take our canoe out there and try and find it. Thank you. 
is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to make a little Guinness stew. Got a Guinness, got some meat. It's all gonna go in here. Bannock looks like it's done. Stew, it sounds done. So I'm gonna open it up. I need some food. Ooh, mommy. It's a little dry on the stew side, but, it, and the bannock, oh, it turned out so good. Um, oh, it's delicious. sleep like a baby although there's a train that runs through this campsite and it's pretty loud it drove by a couple times but it's a beautiful view I love this open side tent and I have so many people asking me about this this little thing I sleep on I don't even know what it's called but it's like a I think it's for a beach you take it out for the day but I like to sleep on it it's quite comfortable um, Let's go make some coffee, breakfast, because we are gonna do some epic shots on this motorcycle. Let's go. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Um, I could make it over there on the fire, but before I came, I saw this thing on YouTube. Um, it's called a rocket stove, and I thought, I can do that. So I brought a piece of wood <laughs> and a drill. So we're gonna drill a hole in here and make a little rocket stove for my delicious coffee. Okay, so I only watched the video once, but basically you drill a hole in the top and then drill in on the side and you put the fire inside. So that's what I'm gonna try and attempt to do. This is the first time I've done this, so bear with me. a little harder than it seems. Uh, I wish I would have pre-drilled this. Um, it's a little too early to be working so hard for coffee. Um, I don't want to work for my coffee. Am I an animal? So my original plan was to make all my breakfast and coffee on the rocket stove, but it's taking too long. So while the coffee's brewing, I'm just gonna make a fire here and make my breakfast. In case you've never uh, seen a rocket stove, the purpose is there's a hole all the way through. We're gonna put a little fire in here and then uh, put these little spacers. I guess you could use nails or screws or whatever. And then this goes on top. We're just gonna let that start up and uh, make some coffee. It's burning! So now, just gonna put these little spacers and then just pop the water back right on top. And now it'll boil. All right, so got the hash browns done. We're gonna put this on the fire. I got this. This is the best spice little thing I've ever had. You never leave home without it. It's got everything you need. So my water is boiling now. I'm gonna make my coffee. Um, just a little note, make sure that this hole here is the wind is able to blow into it. And if there is no wind, you actually have to blow into it just to keep the fire going. But as you can see, it worked, it took about 10 minutes and I got boiling water. I'm 
gonna make the coffee, put the water in. I got my Deville coffee. I love this coffee so much. That's it. Ooh, yummy. I'm gonna sit right here and eat my food. Listen to the train.